describe it and just kind of memorize this formula, but I'll try to explain it to you guys so you can always remember it. Um, if you guys think of, remember a ratio is a comparison between two quantities. Do you guys remember a ratio like yeah. this is to that, right? Yeah. So one thing that we're gonna talk about, when I wanna convert, <clears throat> when I'm gonna be converting, remember degrees and ratios have a similar um, things where we say, well, halfway around, we learned is pi. But we also know from earlier that that's the same thing as 180, right? So when I want to convert from degrees to radians, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that ratio, and I'm going to say pi is to 180. All right? And so this is what we call our pretty much our radian. All right? And here's what we're going to call our degrees. Oh, I so now the reason why I want to use this ratio as pi over 180 is because remember, if I take a degree and I divide it by a degree, that's what's going to happen is am I going to cancel out? And look, look at it this way. If you guys, for those of you that are physics people, let's say this is radians, right? One pi radian is the same thing as 180 degrees, right? Yeah. And I'll call this a degree as well. So therefore, what happens is what a degree divided by a degree cancels out, right? And I'm left with 30 pi, 30 degrees pi, over 180. Well, this you can divide, you can simplify this fraction, right? The degrees actually cancel out, as I showed you, right? The degrees cancel out. Yeah. Physics, science, right? Yeah. Chemistry, you guys do that kind of stuff. Yes. So therefore, what we get is we're just left with our radian. So 30 times pi, and then I can reduce this. So 30 goes into 180. What is that? Um, six. six times. I don't know. Well, think about it. Um, what I'm doing is I'm dividing the top and bottom by 30, actually, not 3. So, yes, it could be 10 over 60, which reduces down to 30. 1 over 6, uh, right? So, therefore, it's pi over 6 radians. So, therefore, what I have just done is I have my answer converting degrees, degrees radians. So, I have, so, what is 30 degrees? 30 degrees is the same thing as pi over 6 radians. We don't really write the radians part, but you guys now understand how the degrees canceled out to give us our radian. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So think of whatever you're doing, when I say convert to degrees to radians, use the ratio of what pi is over to 180. Okay? okay. <laughs> All right. So that's the ratio you guys want to use for